Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, the friendly creator behind Akaihana Studio. In today's video, we are going to be creating this cute, lovely weekly planner entirely in Procreate. And if you stick until the end of the video, we are going to be adding hyperlinks on Keynote. So if you are in for the ride, just keep on watching. You can download the color palette and the aspects for the Procreate file on a link I will leave in the description down below. Okay, I started this project by designing and illustrating the cover. It's going to be like a coffee machine, coffee a style type of uh, weekly planner. And I wanted to create these all cute coffee machines and the and the coffee cups on uh, on the sides. And this is going to be me illustrating and painting. I used my set of pastel pro pack brushes for painting this and if you want to know more about this pack and how it works and how you can paint your own illustration with this pack i will leave the link in the description to a video that explains everything and also a link to the product in the description down below Next, I'm going to be designing the calendar page. And besides uh, the lettering and the illustrations that uh, you're going to see me paint, um, I'm going to be creating the, the calendar. Uh, it's going to be from July 2022 to June of 2023. So it's going to be part of this year and part of next year. And to make it fast and easy i'm going to be using a pack of brushes that i created myself for uh, adding easily calendars and uh, i'm not saying that you have to buy it but if you want to add this type of uh, calendars to your planner and you want to make it easy and fast you can purchase the product if you are interested in checking it out I'm going to be leaving the link in the description down below also. So a great tip that I can give you if you are going to use these brushes is that make sure that all the brushes or all the months that you add to your design are the same brush size. That way you are going to be sure that uh, all the months are the same size because as you can see, Procreate doesn't have like a measurement uh, or, or something that you can be sure that all the images are the same size. So that is a great tip that I can give you. And also add every single month in a different layer. In that case, you are able to change and move around uh, if you need to. So this is the sketch of the weekly planner and this is a great tip also that I can give you is to make a, like a croquis or a sketch before you start painting and to make that easier I use my shape brushes that I sell on my Etsy shop so if you are also interested in watch that product I will leave the link in the description. So oh, this product is very easy to use and very handy if you want to create shapes fast and also remember to add a, every single day, you know, like the square, the rectangle for every single day. You can add it in a different layer in order for you to move them around and to resize them at your choice.
once I finish designing and illustrating this page, I'm going to export the three pages that we have uh, illustrated in this video. That is the cover, the calendar page, and the planning play page, that is this one. Uh, I'm going to export them and I'm going to put them on my camera roll. The size of these images are screen size. I use the Procreate skin screen size to create um, these illustrations, these designs. And I did that because I want, once I export everything to GoodNotes for planning, I want the, the design to cover the entire page. So if you have Procreate and you have your iPad, you can also add this feature in order for you to create the perfect screen size planner. Now let's add some hyperlinks over on Keynote. This is Keynote. Um, I open it in my iPad. You can also do this on your computer. Uh, it's more or less the same thing. It's just the difference is uh, that I'm going to do it in my iPad. And um, we're going to choose anything that you want. It doesn't matter because we're going to mess with the size of the slides and everything. So it fits perfectly with the files that we exported from Procreate. So if you're using um, the screen size, you can have the size of your page on pixels. You just have to go and convert them into points. And um, if you have the same size iPad that I have, that is the 12.9 inch iPad, you can use the same values that I'm using. But if you are not, I totally recommend to you to go and change the values that you got from Procreate. Now, once we have this file size perfect, we are going to be importing from our camera roll the three files that we exported from Procreate, that is the cover, the calendar page, and also the planner page. Um, those are going are those are going to be the three main the three first slides, and we are going to do something else to that last slide. So now we are going to go ahead to the calendar page, and we are going to count how many weeks we have in our calendar from 2022 to 2023 um i count them and it should be 52 weeks because this is the number of weeks that we have in a year but for me it was 53 so i'm not going to mess around with the mathematics here so i'm going to copy and paste the cal the planner page 53 Time. So I'm going to copy and paste it. Now I'm going to add the hyperlinks. For the cover, I'm going to use the plus sign and use the shape section using a big square. I'm going to scale it to the size of the cover and I'm going to remove the background so it's not going to have any filling color or anything. And I'm going to add a hyperlink to that entire cover that is going to take me to the calendar page. Now in the calendar page, pay close attention how I'm going to be adding the hyperlinks. The first hyperlink that I'm going to be adding is uh, a little rectangle on the binder rings on top of the page that is going to take me to the cover just in case if you want to close your planner once you're finished with your planning you can do that um, and also i'm going to be adding squares you know like rectangles to every single week of every single month um, you can do as i did that i just um, managed to create the 
rectangles and copy and paste in every single month and then added the hyperlinks um, just to make sure that you take the record of um, every rectangle where it, the hyperlink goes you know like it doesn't mess up it's difficult it's tricky you have to pay close attention and you have to go and check that your hyperlinks are in order you know like you are not um duplicating the the rectangle to go to the same page so this process is going to take a long time so be prepared and also be prepared for the fact that you might uh messed up so um make sure you you count how many pages or what page you have to go when you add the hyperlink to that specific rectangle um i also have a freebie that i'm going to be listing in the description down below that it's like a planner where you can map out the hyperlinks and the designs of your digital planner when you are in the making and that's going to make so much easier the design so if you want to go and grab that freebie it's going to be in the description down below Last but no least, add a hyperlink on the planner page that is going to take you back to the calendar page. And you can choose between a button or as I did, I added a hyperlink on top of the page, like in the binder ring section um, of every single planner that is going to take you back to the calendar uh, page and it's going to help you go back and forward from your page to your calendar and your calendar to your page the page that you are um, planning no you're not going crazy you cannot see that part in the video but uh, you can get the idea on how to make that now finally and in order to check that all the hyperlinks are working you just export the file the pdf file from the keynote presentation to your goodnotes app and make sure to uh, try all the hyperlinks from the cover to the calendar page to the calendar page to the planning page go back and forward try to make some um, exercises uh, just to make sure that the um, that the hyperlinks are working and then enjoy your weekly planner I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it for you uh, please like comment and spread the love by sharing to the people that you think might be interested in this type of videos uh, again thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!